This experiment is about Boyle's law. The fundamental of Boyle's law is that if the number of particles and temperature of gas is a constant then the pressure is inverted proportional to the volume or the volume is inverted proportional to the temperature. So this principle follow the Boyle's law and provide the equation that P times V equal K. And we will use this concept to study the experiment of Boyle's law which consists of the mainly U-shaped glass tube. On the one side is close-ended tube, on the right side is open-ended tube. The both sides are connected by U-shaped glass tube. Inside the tube is filled with a mercury that help us to study the effect of pressure and volume today. The procedure of Bollier's law experiment is that we are trying to adjust the level of mercury in both sides of the tube, which the H value in today's experiment, or the height in the picture on the blackboard. We would like to know that how much difference between the height of mercury on the right side and the left side. This difference may be the positive value, so it will be plus H. Or may be the negative value in case that the level of mercury on the right is lower than that on the left, so it will be minus H. All of these values can be adjusted in the experiment. We will see later in the setup. In order to adjust H value, when we want to adjust the right in mercury level to be higher level, we know that the mercury has its weight and high density. Then the right mercury level will force to the left mercury level. So the left mercury level will also change the level. Consequently, they affect on the gases in the left tube here. Keep in mind that the left tube is close-ended by the tap. This used to observe that the gas particles must be constant during the experiment. Also the temperature must be constant, which is the room temperature. Assume that the room temperature is average and does not change much. In the experiment when H level change, the left mercury will change the volume of gases in the left tube. That a change of either volume and pressure. And follow the Boyle's law that P is inverted proportional to V. As the H level change to be positive or negative, we will record L value. L is the length of air tube so we can further calculate the volume of air. The volume can be calculated by the length of air times the cross section area of the tube. This volume is the volume shape of the air in the left tube which is the cylindrical shape. So the volume is A times L. This area A can be calculated by measure the diameter of the tube. Finally, we can calculate V, which is the volume. This V will be used for further calculation that you can see in the report sheet. After we obtain all these values, you must draw the graph and find other values from the graph. For the picture, we assume that this is the graph from the experiment. This line represents the equation that follow the Boyle's law. That equation can be obtained from two fundamental equations. The first equation is P times V equal to K. That is the Boyle's law. The other equation is P equal H plus B. That obtained for the experimental setup. When P is gas is pressure here, which is the air surround us. But we trap the air in the left tube by tap. So the gas is his air. So P equal to the pressure due to the mercury tube, which is H value, plus the atmospheric pressure B. That press on the top of mercury on the right. This atmospheric pressure B can be measured by barometer. You can read the value from this device. 
so P equal H plus B. These two equations can be combined by replace P in the first equation with H plus B. Then arrange the equation to be the straight line equation. We can get the bottom equation. That H equal K times 1 over V and minus B, which is the straight line equation. Y equal M times X plus E. We can use such equation to draw the graph from the experiment. For the equation, Y axis is H value, which is the difference level of mercury tube. And we can set in the experiment. X axis is 1 over V. Invert of volume. As I said, we find the V value. Then find 1 over V. To use in the graph drawing. So 1 over V will be X axis. After we plot the data, the data will be in the straight line. According the straight line equation, the data must be a line close to straight line. But they may not be a perfect straight line. Your challenge is that. Average all data points to be as close as straight line. Then we can get a long average straight line. And we can get the value from the straight line. The first value that we will find is K. K is the constant. And this k is the slope of the graph. So we can find k from the slope of the graph. We can use two points on the graph to find the slope. Such slope value is actually k value. Other value is atmospheric pressure which is B-value in the equation, and is the Y-intercept, C. So we can get B-value from the Y-intercept of the graph. To find B, we will extend the graph line to intercept the Y-axis. So we can find the Y-intercept value, which is atmospheric pressure. Note that the atmospheric pressure must be the positive value. So today experiment. Study the Boyle's law by record the experimental data. Then draw the graph and find the value from graph. Which is slope of the graph to find K value. And Y intercept of the graph to find atmospheric pressure. Experimental part. This is Boyle's experimental setup. This consists of two glass tubes on the left and right side. In the experiment, the left tube will be the close-ended tube and the right tube will be the open-ended tube. So, we will record the experimental data into the report sheet. The first value that you must record is the atmospheric pressure in the unit of cm mercury. This value is B. We will measure this B value from the standard device, which is barometer. For example, today the atmospheric pressure is 74.0 centimeters mercury. That we will record in the report sheet here. After that, we must adjust the pressure in both tubes to be equivalent. If both tubes are not the same pressure, then the mercury level in both tubes are not equal. To equalize the mercury level of both sides, we will open the tap on the left tube. After opening it, you can see that mercury level on the right is lower. After the mercury level is stable, or both levels are equal at the same level, then we can close the tap on the left tube. So, the left tube is close-ended tube and the number of gas particles in the left tube is constant during the whole experiment.
Then we can investigate the relation between pressure and volume that will be inverted proportional or not. Then we will change the mercury level on the right side according the height value in the table in report sheet. That is the height difference between the mercury level of both sides. There are positive values such as 2, 4, 6, 8 and negative values that are minus 2, minus 4 and minus 6 centimeters. In the experiment we will adjust the level of right tube. First, release the lock at the back, then move the mercury tube on the right up. Check the mercury level that the mercury level on the right must different from the left up to positive 2 centimeters. We must compare the mercury level on the right and left by observe from the scale of ruler and their difference is 2 centimeters. When it's done, then lock the screw at the back. So, we will measure the length L, which is the length of air tube. This air is trapped in the glass tube on the left. So, the length L measure from the mercury level to edge of tap on the left, which is the air tube. Record the length L in the report sheet, then do the calculation of volume, V. V calculate form A, times L, the A. Value is already in the top of report sheet, which is 0 0.418 cm squared. Then calculate 1 over V, which is inverted volume. Then calculate P times V. When P can calculate from H plus B as C from the third row of table. In this example, H is plus 2 centimeters and B is atmospheric pressure that we already recorded as 74.0 centimeters mercury. So, we can fill all value in the first column from L value that we measured. The same for 4 cm. First, release the lock at the back, then move the mercury tube on the right, and adjust the mercury level of the right and left sides to be 4 cm. Finally, measure the length L on the left tube, which must difference from the previous setting. As I said, if the mercury level on the right change, the mercury level on the left also change. Consequently, the length L will also change. After calculation, we will get a new volume, V, and another new values in the second column. After that, adjust the height difference to be 6 cm, then measure length L. Adjust to be 8 cm, then measure length L. We also have negative values minus 2, minus 4, and minus 6 cm. For negative values we will do in the opposite direction that we will adjust the mercury level on the right lower than the left. For example, minus 2 centimeters, we will move the mercury on the right down and must lower than the left tube 2 centimeters. After that we measure the length L from the mercury on left tube to the edge of tap. After we get L value, we calculate other value in the table. We use the same concept but adjust the level to be lower for negative value. So, adjust to be minus 2, measure L, adjust to be minus 4, measure L. Then calculate V, 1 over V and P times V. The P value is simple to calculate that is H plus B. That B we can read from barometer. After that, we will plot the graph using the data in the table. Do not use the data in the video, challenge yourself. Teacher will check your data after you finish the experiment.